Talmud is the Hebrew Bible. This video continues to review the bankruptcy problem taken from this Bible. Three creditors contesting for some asset. Person 1 claims 100, person 2 200, and th person 3 300. The Talmud solution in the case of 100 estate is 33 and one third for each person. However, according to the standard Talmud rule of 50 50, the distribution should be 50, 25, and 25. Hence, the standard Talmud rule cannot explain the original Talmud solution for this problem. Some people just came up with an idea to reproduce the Talmud solution. They collect three ceramic buckets, cut their size so that they represent 50, 100, 150 respectively. They line them up together, break the walls between one and the other, and seal the mouth of the two smaller buckets. Then they send the final pieces into a ceramic kiln to fuse them into one. Here is the end product. Let's call it a CEA pottery. Now fill the CEA with 100 water. Since there are no walls, each sub CEA gets 33 and one third water. Continue to fill another 100 water. The first sub CEA is full and the water level in the other two rises higher. So we get 50, 75, and 75. Continue to fill another 100 water. It fills up all sub CEAs to result in 50, 100, and 150. Hey, stop, it's enough. The Talmud result is reproduced. From now on, all game theorists should first learn the ceramic arts. But while the above method fits the bankruptcy problem, it does not fit the contested garment problem. I use the same method to make a CG pottery. It looks like this. If I pour water into it, I obtain one quarter and one half, not one quarter and three quarter. Hence, ceramic arts or CEA does not rescue game theorists.